Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In the last episode, we uh, helped out Felix with his past, and we also desperately tried to help Parvati to secure her date, but she seems to be finding any kind of reason to postpone it, so... This time, we are going to Byzantium. Which I must admit that I am we are quite... Now in above Byzantium, Captain. Quite thrilled about seeing Byzantium. Can we talk? Yeah, of course. You have a new quest, don't you? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. Quel surprise! What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Of course. Just let me know how I can help. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And now you just want to catch up with them? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course you should reconnect with your parents. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. What? Why would you want me to meet your parents? Because it would be fun. Level with me, Ellie. What's this really about? It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble, true riffraff, when they see you, they'll get it. Why, thank you for the compliment. Gee, thanks. Or actually, so, you want to show off your pleb friend to your fancy parents. Real mature. Come on, I didn't leave home and become a pirate because I enjoy making responsible decisions. It's not going to get weird, is it? Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis on a leash. That'd make a real impression. That would actually be quite fun. Okay, we'll go. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. What? Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. It's almost like you want me on my worst behavior. That's the idea. Anything else? Uh, I take it you got something to say about Harlow. What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Don't sound so excited. That's was Felix's friend. Obviously not. And better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next Trask. Just because Harlow turned out to be crooked doesn't mean everyone's like that. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. You can't live your life thinking the worst of everyone. Sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. Never consider that looking out for others can be in your best interest. I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Even you never really go it alone. You usually throw your lot in with a crew. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? As a matter of fact, I am. And here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? Never mind, let's go. Um... 
Ellie has a companion quest here, and Parvati has a companion quest here. But I think we'll stick with Parvati and Vicar Max and go back to Ellie's quest later on. And I need to pause the recording to go take care of my eye, so uh, I'll just leave it like this. And you probably won't notice anything except me saying something bizarre when I come back. Okay, so we are finally on Byzantium. I wonder what this is going to uh, look like. Are you still tinkering with that? It's not going to fix itself. Oh, it's big, that's for sure. Stealing never hurt anyone. Requires docking bay code terminals. Docking bay terminal codes to unlock. So this is where they send the retired people, eh? I'm not surprised. Street access. This had better be pretty, based on the descriptions that we've gotten of this planet. That's a long elevator journey. Whoa. Okay. This is pretty. Uh, why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. Okay, so we can go get the fancy outfit. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Mm. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. There's those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a tripist out. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I consider myself freelance. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality. Raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Just tell me what you're offering. I'm making a feature. Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But oh dear. we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Ah! Captain! You're gonna be in pictures! Already got an entourage, huh? Way to get ahead of the game. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? <laughs> you just gotta follow this one up. I'm in. Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Anti-Crayon antibiotics. Take comfort in knowing that anything antibiotic can... Is that supposed to be a model of a system? Not super accurate. Might not be super accurate, but it is certainly pretty. I can't believe it! The CNP Boriston baked beans. When you need to eat and run, space shuttle down with a hammer this grenade launcher. It really is very pretty. Are you two talking about the new dissident hunter adaptation? Don't spoil it. Okay, so yeah, I wanted a screenshot for the thumbnail, obviously. I'd have to retake it though. I've always loved. Okay, whoa. You, with the hips, over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Don't speak. 
Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. There it is. The most pretentious thing I'll hear all day. You're not afraid of speaking your mind. You smolder and growl. Oh, you're just too perfect. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Are you trying to sell me something? I'm an artist, darling, not a tweed merchant. I don't sell things. I pollinate the world with art. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? What do you have in mind? When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Mm -hmm. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Ah. All right, I'll help you out. Marvelous! You and I are going to wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face. What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. Oh my. <laughs> Any excuse to admire my looks, huh? Can't blame you. Uh, what's the benefit of seeing me wear it? My dear, fashion is a performance art. An outfit without a body is like an instrument without a player. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. I'll see what I can do. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. My engineer is going on a date, and she needs a fine outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Oh, shush. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. There. 6,000 bits? Persuades. She's an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. I guess we can swing 3,000 bits. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back! I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Oh, the pun. 5,000 bits for a date. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. 
Where am I supposed to find space gear? If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Can I buy something? I can't wait. What can I? Can I buy something? Thank you. We have a thirty-eight percent discount here. Eighty-four armor. Now we're talking. We will buy that. I like those glasses. Not too fond of those. I'm amused that they give armor, though. Colony ship uniform. Give skill bonus to leadership. Uh, let's repair all equipped. And save the game and see if I can. Um... No. Can I? Yes, I can, but that didn't contain the key. Okay. No idea where to get the key. Steal the Oxonian. Steal the Duchess of nice clothes. There's also corporate troopers here and I don't want to mess with them. But I wonder where the key is. Ah, oh, never mind. I shall be good. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, working toilets? Toilets. Let's grab a screenshot from up here. Maybe one more, just in case I'm not content with the first one. Here we go. Billingsley House of Inebriation. Let's have a look at the journal. Yeah, do you need anything else, Parvati? And for the love of something, uh, let me get something that gives me more mind. Like this one. Uh, use, and then... Perception high, good. Then I'll equip the hat. This gives me leadership and persuade. And I know that I had some outfit that gives me more dialogue skills. That one does. Okay. Can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. You should be. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. Yes. You know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. <sighs> they only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Parvati, making every little thing perfect won't change Junlei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. <laughs> Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Woohoo! Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. It cost me a fortune, so you should be. Okay, that's that out of the way. Um, 
Wearing a suit of head armor headpiece. We need a iconoclast battle. Do we'll, we'll do that later. Ever Chartrand, we need to kill her. Not sure I'm gonna do that. This person works at the Byzantium docks. Remember that stranger I saw on the street. Can we fast travel down there? Yes, we can. Now that looks festive. Uh, so where is this person? Somewhere over there. Carmen Imagawa. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically. <sighs> I... oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you. Let's keep this moving. You have information for me? Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? Yeah. I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. There has got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? <laughs> what work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. <clears throat> Can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> of course not. How exactly did you get involved in all of this anyway? I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful birds? and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Seems pretty normal, actually. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. Mm -hmm. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it, and since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. And? At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. Why would the Golden City need suggestions for improvement? It's really so people can feel heard. Everyone's got something to complain about, you know? They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? If you ask me, the suggestion box was pretty useless to begin with. I don't know how else people are supposed to complain about things they can't change, but that's not the point. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Looks like I've got work to do. That was interesting. Uh, okay, so where is this Eva Chartrand? She's over there. Let's travel to the Prosperity Plaza. That 
episode from a few weeks ago was supposedly based on a real incident. Let's have a quick nib into the uh, inebriation house. Wait. Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. Thank you for telling me. Are you supposed to drink on the job? Of course not, <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Medium. Got it. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Congratulations, uh, or rather a key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. That's the point, sure Parvati. Have. Because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. Mm -hmm. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Offer him a Spectrum Vodka. Here's to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. No, no, no. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Let's have another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, boss. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I'll leave you to it. Okay, so let's just... What was that? Okay, quick load then. Attack rather than quick load. So how do I do that then? Oh, you're the one that saw me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Excuse me. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, 
one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you something. Oh, by all means, ask away. Picked up any interesting rumors. Do you know Celeste Jolliker? I've heard she's working on some spectacular new design. I should go. The question is, how do I get to this guy without something seeing? Something's not... Hey, what do you think you're doing? So they do see me. The question is, who sees me? Is it a robot or is it someone else? As long as the robot standing there, that's not, that, not going to be very helpful. He was on his way outside the last time I got in here. No, it's another one. How about if I stand here? Okay, so the bartender sees me. This is the perfect angle then. What do you think you're No, it isn't. Doing. Incoming. Um. Do I have something that improves my sneak even further? This well, I used to have my regular armor. That's sneak plus 7. And I need a helmet. This is sneak plus five. Got it. Okay, Head let's down. try that then. Hey! Thank you. What do you think you're doing? Uh, whatever I want, or I was just leaving. Ah, sorry for the misunderstanding. Did I get the key? Yes, I got the key. Then I'm fine. I'm guessing that gave us a little bit of uh, minus reputation with the board. However, I'm not really that bothered by that. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models... Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. They could. Let's visit Dr. Chartrand. think the previous gold plated too I wouldn't be surprised to be honest because wow seal um okay so there's a terminal logs cascadia compromised I received a message that an unauthorized user was looking through the files on my Cascadia terminal. Maybe some are order with two firing brain cells? Maybe not. I hope whoever it is understands that the sacrifices, sacrifices made on Monarch and HRS 1084 serve a higher purpose. One day, when all of us have attained a new state of being, humanity may forgive my sins. HRS 1084 my worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks and my team? 
As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results, they can replicate, package and disperse to the general population. They desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Get another relocation. Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Perhaps my home in steadfast Byzantium will offer the retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserved the ones I so enjoyed, the ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. The first extraterrestrials, okay. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time, but our oldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with vodka. Laboratory access. Unseal entrance. Exit. Was that crazy woman actually right? That there are aliens? That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Lilia Hagen sent me to kill you. Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Why would the board want you dead? To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. Cut the distractions. I know all about your alien conspiracy. My what conspiracy? Let's talk about this. Please, I think there's been a crucial misunderstanding. The alien theory did seem a bit little far-fetched. Just give me a second to explain myself. If you still want to shoot me, at least it'll be for an accurate reason. If you came looking for some elaborate scheme, it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. This is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. All you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. 
I can certainly understand why. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Lilia sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. The board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclean. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. You know Phineas Wells. If you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? In the future, try and stay away from plants that hack our species. What kind of scientist would I be if I held to a promise like that? I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. What if I gave you 2,915 reasons? That'll do, sucker. Now move along. The dock has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. That was interesting. I guess we should uh, level up, get more uh, bong guns skill. And apply. And we can just happily move back into Byzantium again. And on that note, I think it's time to end the episode, so thank you all so much for joining me, and uh, I will see you all in the next episode.